this kind of output let me show you custom power test they want to see this kind of output on the CMD screen like uh, ignore the title bar just for now that like you can see a button is on the screen and it is saying normal button but when you will hover on it or edge over on it it change its properties so is it possible using the button function and how you can achieve this kind of output so let's talk about this how you can do this within 10 minutes hey hello youtube i am karan from bharat and in this video i'm going to tackle a request from one of the users so if you will use the simple bad box plugin it won't allow you to check for mouse movements without clicking like you cannot detect mouse hover or mouse edge over using bad box for that i specially made a plugin myself named as input.exe in c and let me show you how it works so hover test so you can see we are able to change the properties of custom areas on cmd console so i'm going to use input.exe combined with bad box and please note that you cannot use button function 2.0 for this purpose because what button 2.0 do does it changes the entire button properties but it cannot allow you to change the text uh, it is not the limitation of button function 2 it is a limitation of the plugin it is using for input that is get input so we are going to use bad box to get the input uh, no to print the input we are going to use bad box okay let enough of the talk let's directly use the button function 1.0 so let's grab the button function okay let me run first the stopwatch it will run okay let me put it here button function get len and bad box let me copy all these files copy them create a new folder uh, let me okay yeah, we already have these files just let me create a new folder here youtube demo So we also need the input.exe plugin so let me copy that one also and what i'm going to use i'm going to go to my blog folder where all the projects are residing and i'm going to use this hover test dot bad file copy it paste it uh, let it, let's open it with sublime text editor okay so let me put it sidewise and let me open stopwatch here so when you will open hover test of input.exe plugin you will get this code pre-written inside it and here you can see that we are reading input.exe with f parameter in every loop and setting some parameters here so according to me the parameter 2 means x parameter 3 means y position and parameter 1 will tell us whether it is click or not so 0 means only mouse movement not mouse click so you can also read that in the comment so let's modify this code to tackle our requirement let's start the clock 
okay so let me delete the unnecessary code here let me call the button function here so as we are using button function 1.0 so let me go back and grab a file here my memory is not that much good so I'm going to use some shortcuts I'm going to copy that oh, copy that paste that and I'm going to name it as normal normal button with the red color and result it will be saved in result one and again paste it oops I really need to practice with this keyboard okay I'm going to name it as hover uh, let me color is at green and name it the variable to we don't want any shadow so let's or you will know all these parameters if you have seen the video on button function 1.0 so we are getting input from input.exe now so it is the time to print the button first so call back box change the origin to let's say 25 and uh, let's say 35 11 and print the button okay result one which is a normal button code and here if the person 2 which is x is greater than or equal to 35 we need to we need an equal to parameter here if it is less than or equal to uh, let me see as it is six characters and two characters here two characters here four characters extra 10 characters 35 plus 10 would be 45 if percent parameter 3 okay let me copy this code and paste it here so this time we are going to talk about parameter 3 which is y value so we are starting with 11 oh yeah where are we yep okay so i have to restart restart the clock again you can add the time difference so for y we are starting from 11 and ending at 13 just adding two extra so we are not going to do that oh, okay okay let me make it more clear to you by making it more rational code so here if the conditions are true then we are going to print button one uh, button two which is h over case so let me send at the end send the cursor to zero comma uh, zero uh, let me reset the origin to zero comma zero first copy that paste that and now in other case i'll print button one so i think that's done so youtube demo folder hover test this is a normal button and when you will hover on it yep it's working but now can you see one thing when i was hovering on it it is changing its properties but when i hover and take out the mouse for some extent it keeps it in the same position so let's fix this bug I have found a way to fix this one uh, it's a very clumsy way of doing that okay let me show you so let's write everything block by block so let me format it a little if the condition is not true then do that 
Okay. And I think this one is four. Okay. This else is clear. Uh, let me make it short. Okay. So now copy this else statement. Break the blocks. If this condition is true, if not true, then this one. If this condition is true, if not true, then this one. If this condition is true, if not true, then print the same button again. Uh, I know, I know, this is not very efficient way of doing things, but I think this is the this is the way I found it to work properly without any bugs. So let me run that again. So now it is pure hover. Our mouse edge over you can detect. So you can see we have an extra added an extra character here. So let me delete that one. So X parameter is 45. So let me make it 44. So awesome. We are done. So now you can have you have the control over each basic elements using the previous functions and tools you have i think this is the smallest way you can achieve this output if you have any doubt or query or any suggestions by which you can do the same thing with a smaller code you're welcome in the comments field below i'll be happy to know the methods thanks for your time i'll see you in the next tutorial bye bye